Hi, this is Robin from the Chatter. Okay, how's everybody we'll doing? Another week with you guys. How you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing good, actually. We try to make everything up. Try to do everything. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all the new subscribers. The shares we got to share too as well. And thank you for all that you've given us so far. We're coming to our. We're not coming to our. our plateau but we all we we getting there we get yeah we getting up thank getting god up. we've only been on the air for like five months and we're doing pretty well thank you all all the audience for everything that you've given us okay today we're gonna this is named don't give it up yeah don't give up don't, don't give, give up, up. <laughs> on your oh, mind I don't give up <laughs> all right this is the chatter <laughs> well, coming from you from robin b and k okay yes. all right we're gonna say don't give up mm -hmm. i had people i had a comment that the uh, young lady she was talking about uh she had been charged twice uh, from her credit cards, you know how you you subscribe to these things. They want a backup credit card and this, that, and the other. So she had a backup credit card, and they claim that she didn't have enough money on the card or whatever, whatever. So they charge the other card. Then they charge the first card. Wow! So she was charged twice. So wow. when she calls the company back and everything, they're talking like, "We can't give you the money for fourteen days." And actually, they charge a checking account the second time because you usually have to put a checking account or whatever you have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's like, I can't wait at 14 days for my money to get back in my checking account. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And I can understand that because even when you like cancel a credit card or something like that, you got to wait seven to 14 days. What are you going to do in the meanwhile? Yeah. You yeah. know, so yeah. you're not with no money unless you got cash money hanging around. Yeah. Because yeah. other than that, you really don't have, I mean, a lot of people use the I mean, I don't know if you got credit cards nowadays with the economy, but you got credit card, you got you depend on your checking account, you know, yeah. so you had to and all this other stuff. Yeah. You you don't have the seven or fourteen days to wait for that. Well, they're they're talking about at least here over here in Jersey, there's a um Well Bank of America gives you the card right away. Oh, okay. Gives you the money back right away. Okay. No, I they don't give you the yeah, they give you the money. Some people give you the money back, right? But Bank of America, if you go to Bank of America, they will give you another card. Oh, okay. Your office. You don't have to wait that seven days. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. No, I I got jammed up in a similar situation. I uh got a gift card, so I put that on my PayPal account to pay for a service, and then I checked my checking account, and I'm like, wait a minute, who took this money out my checking account, and why? They took out a hundred and eleven dollars, and had the nerve to give me a bounce check fee. So I I was heated. I know you were. I know you were. I'm like, I, I need my money. So I reached out to the vendor. I'm like, uh, the gift card that it was PayPal that messed up. They dropped the ball on me. So I reached out to PayPal. I'm like, look, I put my gift card on there. I made that my primary form of payment. Why did you not take the money from there? Why'd you go to the other account? Exactly. Like, yeah, and they, they tried that. Oh, well, we tried and it was declined. I said, nope. I said, every dollar is on that card. I just checked. I don't know why you say you had problems with it. That money was there. That money is still there. Well, we can't do anything at this point. The transaction went through, you know, and I'm like, that's you know what, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Then, then, you know, then they screw up, but they could take it in a day. Yeah. Wait 14 days or seven for, for them days. to refund yeah. your money. But see, I've been on the opposite side of that situation. I was working for a company when we messed up. It was like, yeah, it takes 10 to, to 15 business days. That's two to three weeks right. for you to get your money back. Right. And so um, the people, they, they weren't happy with it. And this one lady, she gave me so much grief that I ended up, I, I ended up bypassing the policy. I called directly to account and I'm like, look, this is an emergency. This woman is talking lawsuit. If she does not get her money back immediately, <laughs> what can you do? And they were like, oh, no problem. Kay. We'll just blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And the money will be back in her account today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, 
thinking all these years you had me telling people two to three weeks, but you have the power to yes. put the yes. money right if back you, in there. Yeah. You That's know? what we say. Don't give up. If you if you can persistent, just like you know, one of our subscribers that I was talking about, mm -hmm. what she ended up doing was, you know, they were telling her 14 days, and she was like, wait, this can't happen. She ended up calling managers, managers, they still tell her the same thing. She's like, What is the corporate company number? Mm -hmm. So she went and called all these people. She found out the corporate company number, and guess what their name was? What? Happycustomers.com. <laughs> <laughs> right and it was for food she was doing this for food yeah happy wow. Christmas. she ended up getting her money the next day Good. so don't give up you That's know it. there's so much stuff out there don't give up don't let these people tell you whatever because they will take money from you you yeah. go to grocery stores they watch your receipts i'm telling you that right now watch your receipts because they say something's on sale you think you're getting stuff whatever and next thing you know, you're paying a dollar extra. That happened to me with cheese. I'm a cheese lover. Mm. I had to give me some damn cheese. It was on sale. I'm like, oh, I'm going to give me a bunch of cheese. I was like, why is this bill so high? They would charge me a regular price for the cheese that was supposed to be on sale. Because yeah. their excuse is the computer is not programmed. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm supposed, like, if I came home, you know, if it's a far away, if you're going, like, for big shopping, mm -hmm. one of these stores, yeah, I mean, how, nine times out of ten, how many people are really going to run back and let it's a, you know, a real big price on You're not going to run back for $2. But see, I run back for $2 because I'm going to walk a distance on my grocery store there and I'm go. going back. There you but, go. But watch that. And another thing, there's another scam going on. I mean, this is going to be another show for us because we already did the show on scams, but also they're doing a big scam on senior citizens. I don't know how many of you guys saw this on, you know, the news or whatever. And what they're doing is the scam is you go out, you take money from your cash app. I mean, not the cash. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> not cash app. From the ATM. ATM. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you get money from your ATM and they're behind you. They're looking, you know, if they can see your pin number, me, I, I'm hooving. I'm hooving. Mm -hmm. But you go inside a bank, whatever, you go inside, they're behind you and they, you know, try to get your information, like your pin number, whatever it is. But then what they do is they take like a $10 bill or something, something that you would look down for. And they say, oh, miss, you dropped a $10 bill. So when you're leaning down to get that $10 bill, they're snatching out, they're switching your ATM card for a fake one. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're hitting individual banks because like say Citibank is red or Chase is blue, you know, whatever. So they'll just switch it in so when you pull out your card, you have no idea, but yet they have your card with all your information, wow. all your PIN number, and they could just go and take all your money out if you have any money in there, which me, mm -hmm. I don't really qualify for that because they ain't going to get much from me. But that's what I'm saying. So that's the new scam now. So when you find somebody touching you on your back saying you lost money, Put right. your put your foot on put it and on grab, it. Yeah. <laughs> grab your card. Be like, thank you. And just yeah. Put your foot it on it and grab your card. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, people up north, I didn't know how to do that shit. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you finished doing your transaction. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Got any comments? We've been getting a lot of nice little inputs as far as we're gonna have more guests on the show too as well. But uh yeah, anybody got anything to say? Because we like to have fun and give us some of your ideas because these are some of the things that some of the, the people that are contacting us and giving us little comments, not online. I don't know whether they're a little bit apprehensive. <laughs> But they have been contacting us and giving us some ideas. So thank you so much, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. We are coming back from the chat. And my name is Robin B. I'm Kay. This is entertainment purposes only. Exactly. And our opinions only. <laughs> only <yeah. laughs> Anybody that we insulted, okay. <laughs> well, we're apologizing ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> See you next week. Bye-bye.